Hello guys, welcome back. So there is one more exciting opportunity from DRDO. So this DRDO announced the Day to Dream 5.0. Previously, they organized four versions of Day to Dream context, announced Day to Dream 5.0 to provide the right platform for the innovators of our country. So the main aim of this particular uh, context is to enhance the strength of the DRDO, enhance the capability of DRDO. The Day to Dream 5.0 context is organizing on the name of the legendary farmer president as well as the eminent scientist dr abj abdul kalam so on his name they are going they are organizing this particular program now who are eligible for this any individual those who are having minimum age of 18 years and those who are having the startups as well as any one from mses that is micro and small scale industries they are eligible to participate in this particular program this particular program is to achieve the concept of Atma Nirbhar Bharat, which is frequently given by our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. So this, this particular program, Day to Dream 5.0, is a idea-based open challenge to promote the individual startups as well as MSEs of the country to enable them to dream big without any limitations. So putting their ideas into tangible results. Whatever the idea we are presenting, that idea, if the idea is good, if the idea is innovative idea, then you are getting a chance of winning the prize money of 6 lakhs to 12 lakhs rupees. There are two committees which are named with Domain Expert Committee as well as Independent Expert Committee. So based on the domain, we have various domains are there, we will discuss that. So based on the domain, what in which domain you submitted the idea, for each and every domain, there is an expert committee that a committee is going to evaluate your idea. Once it was accepted, then there is one more committee called Independent Expert Committee and this committee is also going to evaluate your idea. So if these two committees are satisfied with your idea, then you are going to be shortlisted here and award money is up to 12 lakhs for startups as well as MSEs and 6 lakhs for the individuals will be provided with respect to winner. So when we go for the official web page here, the objective of the objective of day to dream 5.0 is to provide the right platform to the nation's innovator in order to unread as well as realize their uh, disruptive ideas as well as concepts in different disciplines of emerging technologies, processing, military as well as dual use identified by DRDO for enhancing the defense capabilities. So when we come to the eligibility criteria, you should be citizen of India and age should be above 18 years. And for the case of startups here, the startups controlled by Indians and recognized by DPIIT. Or if we have MSE, micro and small enterprises, then controlled by Indians as well as registered with Ministry of MSME and having latest uh, Udyam registration certificate. So if you satisfy, if you are falling in these categories or if you are the individual, if your age is above 18, then you are eligible to apply for this particular context. So when we come to the selection process here, as you can see, there are two committees here, uh, that is domain expert committee as well as the independent expert committee. So the complete, whatever the idea we submitted, that should be screened by domain expert committee. And once it was done, then the independent expert committee is going to be shortlisting as well as based on the ranking given by independent expert committee, our idea may be shortlisted. So application process is complete online only. We'll see what is that. And if you want, you can go through this FAQs here. As you can see, the context is open to individual startups, micro and small enterprises only, or can I participate as a team? Open to individual and you can see uh, the total maximum four members with one defined leader can participate under this individual category. As we are applying or uh, as we are participating in this context as an individual, but we can represent entire team with the team leader and the maximum of four members can be accommodate in that particular team. So will all my team members receive the cash award on winning? Yes, but the, the, your team is going to be represented with the team leader. Can I participate in against only one challenge area or against multiple? So you can submit up to three entries here. You can submit up to three ideas, but that should be in different challenge area. There are multiple challenge areas are there. Among them, you need to submit only one challenge, one idea for each and every challenge. Like that, you can submit up to three challenge areas. Can I submit multiple entries? No, you are not eligible to submit multiple entries in single challenge area. As we as we saw now, you can submit the ideas in multiple areas, but in one single area, you are allowed to submit only one idea. So how will my entry evaluated? As we have two committees are there, the two committees are there. like this. These are the FAQs. You can go through all these FAQs here. Next. 
So when we come to the terms and conditions, there are the terms and conditions. The application should be either in English or uh, Hindi. Two languages are allowed here. No other languages are allowed for this particular uh, application process. So you can go through. When we come to the important dates here, the start date is 3rd December 2024 and end date is 3rd March 2025. For this particular context, on behalf of startup, you should have minimum 50% share in that particular startup. Otherwise, you can submit a, uh, you can submit your idea as an individual here. So when we come to the award here, this is individual cash price and this is startups or MSCs. First price, 6 lakhs for individual, 2 lakhs for MSCs or startups. Second price, 5 lakhs and third price, 4 lakhs in the case of individual and 12, 10, 8 in the case of startups or MSEs. So these are the various context areas we will see here. When we click on the context area, as you can see, there are multiple areas are there. Based on your category, whether you are applying on individual category or whether you are applying on startup or MSC category, different challenge areas for individual category as well as the startup or MSC category. So if you belongs to startup or MSC category, you can go through all this here. And if you belongs to individual category, these are the various areas. For example, if you click on this anomaly and point of interest detection in streaming data, that means what in streaming data, when the data is streaming, you need to identify any anomalies are there or any point of interest detections are there in streaming data. That is a problem here. For that, you have to propose one solution. You have to provide some idea here. As you can see, if you go through the description here, tremendous amount of streaming data is available from multiple sensors, which could be geographically separated and diverse in characteristics. Whatever the data we collected from various sources to analyze the data, it is difficult for a human. So for that, you are going to propose a system. That is, we need to propose an algorithm, propose an algorithm, preferably AI based algorithm we need to propose here for anomaly detection in operational multidimensional data of that avionic system. Or we need to propose the scheme for implementation of that algorithm in resource constrained embedded computers to support real time execution. And we need to demonstrate few use cases like drones and flight data recorders, etc. So for this, we need to propose a, a good idea, innovative idea, so that we, we are going to stand uh, to get that corresponding prize money. They already there are some algorithms are there, but that algorithms are worked on the basis of time series data. But now, Whatever the idea you are proposing, that idea should work on multidimensional data also, in which individual variables may not be demonstrating the anomalous behavior, but collectively the signals may indicate some abnormality which may not be uh, perceptible to human observer. Integration of cognitive thinking. We need to integrate cognitive thinking as well as the decision making algorithm so that the soldier's effort will be reduced here and also increase the efficiency here. For that, we need to propose one good idea. Same manner, there are various uh, domains are there. So, active Daniel system, developing AI ML model, as well as innovative application in blockchain, large metallic object proximity detection. Like this, there are various uh, themes are there. So, there are various challenges are there. And from these challenges areas, you can select any one of the area and you can need to propose one innovative idea for them. If you are interested to participate in this particular program, and if you have already login credentials, simply click on log, sign in. Otherwise, you can sign up here. So when we click on sign up, it will ask you date of birth as well as first name, last name, mobile number, mail ID. And once you done that to get the password to the registered mail ID and open that mail ID and copy the password, then click on sign in here. It will ask you to change the password. You need to type old password, new password two times so that the password is changed successfully. Once the password is changed, again, click on sign in here to sign into that. Once you sign in, you are going to get this particular form. So the PAN number here, then other number, address, state you need to select here, district, and then PIN code, current job profile, which job, student, employee, and other. Selecting the student, you need to type the institution name here, type of entry, individual, or group. We can select anyone. So are you applying as a team? Click yes or no. If I am apply, if you are applying as a team, click on yes, otherwise no. To upload the team details in this particular file. As you can see, there is a word file and there is a video format. Click on this to download and once it was downloaded, these are the, in this format, you are going to fill the details. Leader name, gender, data birth, PAN number, other number, address, mobile number, like this and member 1, member 2, member 3. So maximum of 4 members, you can have 2, 3 or maximum of 4 members in that particular team. So fill all the details, then click on upload here, then click all these uh, checkboxes here. So once you click all these checkboxes, go through all these conditions here, then click on submit. 
So that's all your, your application is going to be submitted. So once they'll review that, you will get the confirmation mail after successful shortlisting. So if you have any queries, simply comment on me at the same time, informing you to share among your friends regarding this opportunity. Thank you. All the best.